Hey guys, it's your boy Barrett. Uh, it's the end, uh, end of the month. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second, it's the end of the month, May 31st, that means we got a Ah, uh, hello everyone. It is the end of a, another month, but tomorrow. Hey guys, are you ready for some crazy tech news? Because I've got lots, uh, right. Hey guys, welcome to Netlink Daily, home of the tech news and crazy fun personalities. So, Intel unveiled the X-Series yesterday at Computex, but AMD responded with Threadripper, my dudes! We've already heard that the Threadripper will have 16 cores, where the high-end uh, Core i9 will have 18. But, where Threadripper was expected to have 44 PCIe lanes, like the i9, AMD announced that it would actually have 64 PCIe lanes. Uh, take that, Intel! <laughs> Threadripper will also be on the X399 platform, simply because higher numbers are better, everyone knows that. AMD put the Threadripper CPU through some games and benchmarks in a system running Radeon RX Vega graphics cards in crossfire mode. But oh yeah, AMD also announced that they will announce Vega at SIGGRAPH at the end of July. Other than that, AMD announced that their Epic server CPUs will arrive on June 20th, and they also announced Ryzen mobile chips. They will feature four cores and run Radeon graphics on a single chip powering two-in-one -one laptops set for release early next year. All right, moving along. And on the Intel side of things at Computex, well, actually this is on the VR side of things, Intel is working with HTC in developing a wireless module for the Vibe. A prototype of this new wireless Vibe was shown off and it's expected to release early next year. The wireless module is developed with Intel's Ygig technology which uses 802.11 AD Wi-Fi and works solely in the interference-free 60 gigahertz band. This will provide real crisp video at less than 7 millisecond latency and could support multiple users in the same space. Riley did a video on an AD Wi-Fi router, by the way, so you can check that out over here. Uh, apparently HTC is showing off this prototype more at E3 in a few weeks, so maybe we'll hear more about it then. Hopefully. And the last longer story from Computex things is that Qualcomm will be using their ARM-based Snapdragon 835 mobile processors to power Windows 10 2-in-1 devices. Asus, HP, and Lenovo have jumped on board, offering a combination of the PC form factor as well as software features common in smartphones like on-the-go connectivity, silent operation, and long battery life. Apparently they will have 50% more battery life than x86 systems, 4-5 to five times longer standby times, and of course, with Snapdragon you won't need Wi-Fi. You can get online wherever there's cellular connectivity. Anyways, these Qualcomm powered devices will launch at some unknown time at some unknown price in the future. And this is not Windows RT because you will be able to run Windows applications unmodified from their original form. It's okay. What do you think? It's time for shorter news stories and more quickly than the others. MSI showed off their X299 motherboards at Computex, which includes the new Gaming M7, Gaming Pro Carbon, Tomahawk, and SLI+. Gigabyte showed off their X299 motherboards as well, featuring lots of RGB and other things too. They're set for release in June. Gigabyte also announced the Saber Pro 15, a lower-end gaming laptop featuring an i7-7700HQ CPU, GTX 1060, 15.6-inch Full HD panel, RGB backlit keyboard, and 8, 16, and 32 gigabyte RAM options. And finally, for non-Computex news, there's a new map on Overwatch called Horizon Lunar Colony. It's in the public test region for PC right now. I just played it at lunch and can confirm it is fun. Oculus has added Google Chromecast support for the Samsung Gear VR, so now people can watch on a TV what you are seeing in the headset. So now your friends can have a little more empathy for you when you throw up after taking the headset off. But okay, I'm sorry. I haven't tried it in a few years. I'm sure it's gotten better. And Sound Heroes are new Bluetooth speakers that look like a futuristic cyborg hero monster thing featuring RGB LED lighting, a smoke dispenser, and comes in 10 different colors. Yes, of, of course I want one. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found at the NCIX far, but like this was as that. Linked in the description, though, in case you were wondering the, the links for the stories that we just did. Ah, put tank in them all. Is that, did you want us to say that, or that's a suggestion you were hoping that maybe we could put a tank in a mall? I mean, I wish we could. I, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't want to harm people with it. it, just, that would be entertaining, to say the least. So, anyways, I'll look into that, but for now, put tank in a mall. 
Uh, anyway, say hashtag NCIXEODog on Twitter and we'll say things. Probably not do things. Uh, it, it, moving along. So, you need a laptop for work, but you don't want to get uh, some bulky workstation type thing in order to have the power you need. You could get a MacBook, but then you'd be locked into uh, that ecosystem and you'd prefer to have a little more performance for your money. Well, my friends, that is where Windows 10 Pro notebooks come in. Exhibit A, the ASUS ZenBook 3. It's incredibly thin and light so you can get work done wherever you are and it's blazingly fast with an Intel Kaby Lake Core i7 processor and PCIe SSD storage. Plus it runs Windows 10 Pro with Windows Defender for built-in malware protection, BitLocker for built-in storage drive encryption, and Windows Hello for intelligent password-free logins. For business owners, Windows 10 Pro has even more tools like mobile device management for your employees and defer updates so you can make sure new features are good to go before you install. For more info and to shop Windows 10 Pro devices, click the eye in the corner or the link in the description. Alright, that's it for NetLink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over there. Here, that place. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Uh... It looks like I can't really escape. I think I'll just go over here. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.